Hi YouTube. Um yeah. so I want to talk about my theory on why Puff Daddy got indicted. The real reason that he got indicted. And I'm saying my theory is because we got elections coming up. You got the Republican Party, you have the Democrat Party, and Puff Daddy was establishing the, our Black Party, which is the independent. It would be the third party ballot on the ballot. So we would have Democrat, Republican, and then our Black Party. As you know, whites are now becoming the minority. So colored people, brown, yellow, black, are becoming the majority. Uh, they could easily win a presidential election. And so he was saying, you know, I'm not going to hold off, you know, the votes and say that, you know, because I'm not organized yet, because, you know, I haven't established, you know, any campaign um, or my candidates. We don't have any political. We haven't had time to organize yet, you know, maybe next election. So this election, uh, I'm just going to endorse Joe Biden. So that's what he says here. Uh, this is not me making shit up. This is me doing research, okay? And uh, they, so it's not, it's not just, it's not, bro, they locked this man up for prostitution, for, for fucking, for freak offs. Like, everybody do drugs, everybody fuck. Who don't do drugs? Who don't be freaking off and doing drugs? Everybody do that shit. And also, this man, I want to show you, I'm a, I'm a, I, got, I, got, I researched all this shit. This is not me making shit up now. They talk about he got Jay-Z, Barack Obama. He got all these politicians. He got uh, ain't, uh, the royalty, Megan and Harry and uh, Prince whatever from England on these tapes too. Y'all don't like, this is deep, bro. This is the Illuminati shit where... Uh, if he did, no, okay, check this out. Let's just say he started up the Black Party, right? He's got the money to fund the campaign, okay? He's going to fund the campaign, be a, a political contributor and donate, you know, to these campaigns. And let's just say that, you know, he's got all these politicians on these videotapes having sex with minors or doing drugs and freaking off of... Uh, doing gay sex, guy on guy stuff, you know, um, that could ruin a, someone's political career. It could ruin any kind of career. It would just cancel your career. You know, if you were uh, famous or whatever, it can ruin you. He's got everybody's like all the famous celebrities. Like he's talking about, they got Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, Jamie Foxx, uh, uh, Kevin Hart. They got everybody. Everybody, like all your favorite actors and everything, let's just say Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, ran for governor for the state of Georgia or Florida, whatever. Let's say he wanted to be the senator. Who's not going to vote for Jamie Foxx or Justin Bieber or the Our Black Party politician that Puff Daddy endorses and he's going to fund their campaign? Let's just say that his, our black party, whoever he picked to, you know, endorse and, you know, fund their campaign. Let's say that they actually won the presidential election. Puff Daddy, they would be, uh, Puff Daddy would essentially own America. He, like he has that much power. Like y'all not seeing the big picture. Y'all not seeing the big picture. They talk about this sex trafficking and fucking these, you know, <laughs> like, bro, hey, look, look, check this out. Bitches get flued out all the time. Bitches get flued out all the time. Of course, you know, you pay for a bitch plane ticket and she not from here. So, you know, you got to give her a little money for a hotel room. If she ain't going to stay with you, something to eat. You know, she not from the area. That's your guest. Of course, you're going to give her some money. Now you now you guilty of sex trafficking, too, because you flew a bitch out from another state. 
you know, that's uh, overstate lies and you gave us some money, y'all fucking, you guilty of sex trafficking too. This shit happens all the time. Like, they they distracting y'all with this. Uh, that was the easiest way that they figured out that they could stop him. Puff Daddy was about to be bigger than Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, but they couldn't, they couldn't figure out, he took out Tupac. This man put a hit and took out Tupac. He probably has something to do with Biggie Death too. All that shit, man. He making money on the beefs and shit like that. Look, this shit is way deeper than y'all, than y'all, uh, don't know, I don't think nobody's seeing the real big picture here. Puff Daddy almost took over the United States. He got that, it like, look, if he started the Our Black Party, he's got these videotapes of all these politicians. He's talking about he got Barack Obama, he got Beyonce, Rihanna, all these people that you love on these tapes and all these politicians that you ain't got no idea. All these politicians. He control all of them now. He's got leverage. So they could run for the Our Black Party ballot. Puff Daddy endorses them. Now Puff Daddy run that state. He run, I mean, whatever he want, you know, he would get rich off. No matter how much money he spent on the campaigns, you know, he write that shit off on, as donations or whatever. But each state that he has a politician in his pocket, they're going to be able to send money his way, like concerts, venues, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get his money back. Plus the political influence that he would have, you know, doing private parties and shit for these rich people. I don't think like anybody's seeing the real big picture here because they, white people not trying to, they don't want black people to have a voice, a platform to speak on. They don't want reparations. They uh, they, they uh, would try to kill him probably, you know what I'm saying? Before they let him have, you know, basically he would take, he would, essentially Puff Daddy would be the president of the United States. If his man, his politician that he endorsed yeah, got elected, the um, sorry, they would be in his pocket. He would have that much. If, and then if they don't do what he says, boom, I'm going to drop the tapes of you fucking these little boys, of you cheating on your wife, you doing these drugs. Your political career, career is over. He would control. He got that much power over people with these tapes. That's why they had to use that shit to take him down. Because he was about to take over the fucking United States, bro. Puff Daddy was on his way to the top. I'm talking about the top, top. We talk about the Illuminati shit with, that's why all these Illuminati shit with Jay-Z and Puff Daddy. They was going to take over the United States that way. You know what I'm saying? And they always got to have leverage over people. You know what I'm saying? That's how they control you. Bro, watch. I, I ain't lying. Watch this shit. Voting against Diddy in droves. The bad boy head honcho has launched a new initiative, Our Black Party, but people think that Puff isn't the leader we necessarily need. If Trump gets elected, I, I really do believe in my heart there'll be a race war. Diddy is demanding change. His Our Black Party mission is to create a platform to help advance a political agenda that addresses the needs of black people. Initially, the two-step king was telling black people to withhold their vote until promises concerning the community were enacted. Now, in a conversation with Charlemagne the God, Diddy is doing an about face and saying we should follow his initiative and vote for Biden. It would be irresponsible of me to um, have us hold our vote hostage. Mm -hmm. But it would also be irresponsible. Hold the me. vote hostage. Hold our vote hostage. Because he knows he has that much influence. If these sex tapes and this indictment didn't come out. And he started the Our Black Party. He would win. His candidacy would win. Whoever he picked to run for presidency. They would have won. If all this sex trafficking. This Rico bullshit. This 
uh, sex worker shit, if it didn't come out, he would have took over the fucking world. He would have took over the United States. To just let this moment go by. The world is watching and not do everything I can to make sure that going forth that we are part of the narrative, mm -hmm. that we own our politics. Diddy also says we need to build up a black political army and build coalitions with communities, community leaders, and organizations that are black-led and serving black communities. A black political not army. People to come and save us. Let's not wait for the Democratic Party. Let's not wait for government. The let's, let's take. Let's own our politics. Let's take we over this black shit. Politics. We need to own that. We need to you have know what I'm a, a, a platform, an institution that's going to support. And breed young black politicians and social leaders that have integrity, not just in the quiet rooms, publicly. And while this all sounds well and good, fans on Twitter are giving Diddy and his plan the side eye, pointing out his past relationship with Trump and questioning his motives. But what do you think? If yeah. You want to so right away, you know what I'm saying? He got backlash. They jumped on him and shit like that. There's a lot of people that don't want to see him in power. Because they know, you know, that he got leverage like that. He got a lot of dirt. He got dirt on everyone. But that's the way he got so much power he, with the videotapes and all that shit. He got dirt on everybody. If this dude started the Our Black Party, which is it's not too late. Somebody else can do this shit. Jay, anybody. Because I don't, know, I don't understand why we don't have a lot more black people in politics. It's a six-figure paying job to be the mayor, the governor, a senator, a state senator. You wear nice clothes. They're going to pay you. Lobbyists are going to pay for you all your meals. You got a six-figure job, and you ain't got to do no fucking work. It's the easiest fucking best paying job, and you ain't got to take no drug tests either. All these motherfucking politicians on cocaine, they drinking on the job and fucking on the job. Like, motherfucker, that's the best goddamn job in America is to be a politician. And they want to keep that shit for the white people. They don't want black people getting ahead. That's the whole thing. Like, bro, they assassinated Martin Luther King. They assassinated Malcolm X. You know, they will fucking put a bullet, the CIA will put a bullet in your head just to keep black people from having a, a, a political voice. When you got that much power... They gonna take you down. You can't. They not gonna let no black man have that kind of fucking power, that kind of political influence. Man, he would have owned everybody. He would have owned the United States, bro. That's how much power he had, bro. He got all these politicians. He got Barack Obama on the tape. Obama, nigga. Man, he got all these politicians and shit on these videotapes. All he got to do is put them on the ballot. Who not gonna vote for our black party? He would have won every fucking state. And then he got him in his pocket. He got him in his pocket. I ain't making this shit up. Watch this shit. Listen to this shit. Well, I, I believe it's on the tape. I believe Barack Obama got a tape. Obama? I know Jennifer Lopez has multiple this. I know Beyonce got a tape. I definitely know they probably recycled some old Stevie J and Eve stuff. I know Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of those tapes. Jaguar Wright has made explosive allegations against several celebrities, claiming they were involved in disturbing activities Justin linked Bieber. to Diddy. So, I know Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of those tapes. I know Trey Songz has been like a supporting actor. He's about to say supporting actor. <laughs> Hold um, the camera, Trey. Hold the camera, Trey. Pass the lube, Trey. I think eventually at some point. In various interviews, she alleged that high-profile names were connected to Diddy's infamous parties, which she described as exploitative and secretive. I was saying, do you believe Pass you the loo, Drake. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Chris Dawson. I mean, if Chris Dawson is the whole, he's about in a, you know, and Chris Dawson is 
old school industry pedo. Right? And everyone knows that. I never liked him. I always thought he was creepy. And see, I know before B2K. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, look, this this tape breaking up or whatever, but they gonna talk about immature B two K one twelve, all you know, all these people that Diddy you know signed, and then he gonna go on and she was gonna go on to say you know, Usher, Justin Bieber, uh, all the politicians, uh, <clears throat> some prince of England or whatever these princes of England and stuff like that. <sighs> He got all these people on tape. He got all this leverage. That's power. That's power. That's leverage. If you're a politician, he can end your career. He already, he already owned them politicians. So these, bro, y'all don't know how deep this shit is. He already, owned, the politicians is already, he already got that power, that influence because he got them on tape. He like, yo, I need a favor. You know what I'm saying? I need you to, you know, pardon my man. If you're the governor, you can pardon my man and get him out of prison. You know, he got a murder charge. You don't do it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to drop this tape of you fucking these little boys. You cheating on your wife, doing these drugs and shit. You think they not going to pardon pardon his homeboy? They got a murder charge. Oh, he, he getting out the next day. He already, already doing this shit, bruh. He already got them on tape. He been doing this shit. This shit is deeper than any of y'all. Y'all talk talk about, oh, he sex trafficking, fucking these little boys and shit. Nah, this shit deeper than that. This shit way deeper than that. He got, I'm telling you, bro, Puff Daddy was about to do some big shit. He was about to be bigger than Malcolm X. Bigger than Martin Luther King, bro. If he started that black party and got them on the ballot, oh, they would have won the presidency. They would win in every state. Bro, he can put Justin Bieber, Jamie Foxx, if all these indictments and all this sex tape shit didn't come out, he could put Rihanna, run for mayor. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I want Justin Bieber as my man. I endorse him. I, he would put celebrities, Usher, to run for governor. You know what I'm saying? Or these politicians that you don't even know, but he already got them in his pocket. He got sex tapes on them. So they down with his with his calls. Bro, that's why they indicted him for the bullshit sex trafficking shit. Like, bro, bitches get fluid out all the time. Like, why you gonna go to a pub daddy? Like, that's acting like they were hostages and shit. Motherfucker, you know what you came to do? They You had people, like, trying to get into these parties. You can't get in unless you own, invited, and somebody wants you there, and you gotta, like, bro, of course, if you if you invite a female or a male and it's your guest, they're from another state, they get flewed out. You know, you 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 know, get them a bus ticket or whatever, put them on a plane to come to your party. That's your guest. Of course, you have to take care of your guest. So you got to pay them. You know, what I'm saying for for you know, especially if they're doing entertainment shit. So, you know, they might be a dancer or something like that. They don't necessarily be got a, why they got to be a sex worker? Just because you fucked at a party, but you came to entertain. You came to be a dancer or whatever. You came to be the entertainment. You just happen to start fucking, and then they go and call you a sex worker. Bro, get the fuck out of here. They twisted out. They twisted all this shit up, bro. They knew what they was doing to come out there. They came out there to fuck. It was a party. Duh. Who don't want to do drugs and fuck? Everybody do that shit. Bitches get fluid out all the time. And they trying to make that shit look like some kind of... And they using this Rico shit. This, that Rico shit is supposed to be for the mafia. They twisted. The FBI fucking twisted that law. And this is a miscarriage of justice. That Rico at law was not designed to take down people having entertainment and fun in their own home. It wasn't designed for that. It was designed to take down serious criminal shit. But with him having all that power over these people, uh, 
you know, it, it, it could be like, it's like some mafia shit. They was going to take over the world shit. They was, they was on some take over the United States shit, bro. That's how, like, y'all don't understand how deep this shit is, bro. It was already going on. Like, the next election, he would have won that shit. Whoever he wanted to be his political candidate, he, they would have won that shit, man. He already got these politicians in his pocket, man. They already, he already calling for, he, he got all these murder charges. Man, he's got them killed his, uh, he's saying that he got his fucking uh, ex murdered. And Jay-Z, the day uh, when he was cheating on Beyonce with that girl, and she was about to announce that she was coming out with the baby by Jay-Z, and she got unalived within 24 hours. Like, all, they already doing hits and shit like the mafia and uh, they they not they not getting caught for that shit cuz they got everybody in their pocket they got the politicians in on this shit too like they getting away with murder can't nobody stop them but they so they said yo we got to take him you know he got too much power we got to stuff we got to find a way to take him out and this was the easiest way for them to do it cuz you know, they start, people start talking, you know, some people get in trouble, like, you know, people start talking, like, oh, he got the tapes, and da da people, and people start talking, they put, they start putting shit together, oh, he said he got the tapes, oh, they, he keep tapes on everybody, everybody know about the shit, so they like, yo, we need to get these tapes, that's why, when they hit, when they raided Pub Daddy, they hit the, the house in Miami, New York, and... Some other state, like Vegas or some shit, wherever he got three plus, three houses. They hit them all at the same time in tandem. And they, the police, didn't even know who they was going to go raid because he got the police on his payroll too. He got people working in law enforcement. So if they would have somebody would have said, "Oh shit!" They said we going to hit Diddy's house. Then he would have burned the tapes. You know, he would have had somebody burn the tapes, get rid of that shit, delete it. So when they when they went the SWAT team went to go raid his homes, they didn't even tell the police. Didn't even know. They just like we got an address. Go to this address. We got a search warrant. You know. So they pulled up, <clears throat> guns out and everything. They didn't know it was Diddy's house. They was raiding. But that's how they had to do it in order to stop it because it was like we can't let this man have that much power, man. We can't let him take over the United States because that's what he was basically going to do. He was going to take over the United States. He, I mean, he would have that much power, that much flex, because if he's starting the, my black party, he's funding this shit. This is his campaign. He's endorsing these people. He's paying for this shit. He got all these connects. He got all the politicians on the tape. Of course, they're going to do what the fuck he wants. They've been doing it. It's It's been going on all this time. Ain't nobody been talking about it. They come get him on his sex trafficking shit. This has... This is the tip of the iceberg. It's nothing. This is nothing. The sex shit is nothing compared to the real shit that's really been going on. All the murders, all them hits that they killed, all the people they killed and got away with. You got away with Tupac's murder, Kim Porter's murder, uh, Jay-Z, Baby Mama. Got away with that murder. The, uh, the shooting in the club that J-Lo had the gun. Got away with that shooting. It, these, these, that's the, that's the ones everybody know about. There's all kinds of shit, shit murders y'all don't even know about. Like they, I don't even know about that. I don't even know about. You know what I'm saying, bro? This the tip of the iceberg, bro. That's the real reason why they indicted him on that bullshit. Think of it as a bullshit charge. They used the RICO Act for this man having a freak off in his goddamn house, a party. Man, get the fuck out of here. Y'all believe that shit? That y'all, y'all, boy, stay in school. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Y'all believe that bullshit if you want. That ain't it. I'm telling you, this shit way bigger than y'all even fucking know. I love y'all, you two. Goddamn, ah.